Like, how you doing? Alright. Here we go. Let's try it out. Chapter 3. Ooh, it's a puppy! We're back in headquarters. Welcome back, Sergeant Burton. Allow me to say on East UK's behalf, we are glad to back or glad you came back in one piece. It's time to get back to work. Your failure in infiltrating Xenolifer's ranks and sabotaging their goals has changed the rules of the game. This has left us vulnerable. Xenolifer can now potentially commit a biological attack using the Medusa virus at any time. But sir! Oh, don't even start! Listening to your excuses is what put us in this situation to begin with. Jack lost his arm! We have to be ready to fight any biological threat that's your main and only objective now, Sergeant. Is that clear? Yes, sir. On your next mission, you have to spend several months on the surface of Snakos. Hmm. Peter, welcome, welcome. Out of what you played, this is your favorite chapter, right on. I feel like Jack got to keep his arm in a lot of cases because he would die before losing it. That makes sense. I wonder if that's actually factored into the percentage. That would be kind of interesting. Spend several months on the surface. If you read the mission briefing, you'll know that Senecos is the homeworld of the Medusa virus. You'll be leading an Everdusk science team while occupying the planet. Your mission won't be complete until you find a cure for the Medusa virus. Sounds more like a punishment to me. You have a problem with your assignment, Corporal Maslow? Two soldiers to look after, three scientists and a robot, please. It's enough, Jack. Sorry, sir. Proceed. Hello, Department of Laws. Welcome. I love puppies. Every dog is a puppy. That's just how it is. So you already met your team. Let me introduce them to you. Sarah Gaynor, specialist in psychiatrics and uh, brain genetics. Psychiatrics, sorry. After all we've heard, it's a pleasure to meet the legend at last sergeant. Dr. Paul Zanez. Expert in bacteriology. Bacteriology. Bionics and former chief of the counter-viral department of the Constellar Federation. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. Our job at Sinecos is just as important as fighting terrorists. Don't undermine this mission by taking it as a punishment. They won't, Doctor. Donald Gaynor, specialist in robotics and electromechanics. We in charge of the maintenance and our ship equipment, so those two are apparently married. As I told the commander earlier, I'm bringing with us this experimental robot model I've named Brandon. Experimental in what way? Well, it's a discarded project for the Consular Federation. Essentially, Brandon is an em empathic droid. Hmm. See you later. Rasmus back. Yeah, no kidding, Jinx. I'm thinking about that too. It's like we've been enduring torture for 20 days and we're just getting yelled at here. We're told to like stop our bitching. It's like, dude, you don't know what we had to go through. I lost teeth. We designed the, uh, to analyze human emotions and status to try and please its owner, I guess. The project was deemed a failure since after a couple of years, the empathic. What do you say that? Empathic? I guess. Became overridden with its owner's personality, and the droid suffered an existential crisis with undesired consequences. How useful. Take it easy, not so super duck. The next level is a long and hard one, oh boy. This model has been customized by me personally by formatting its brain once a year. I promise you, Brandon is totally safe. It's not for pleasure. <laughs> requested. It'll give us various readings of our performance moods and morale throughout a mission and can help us notably improve our productivity. Quite freaky. Sad to hear that, but I'll do my best, sir. Come on, Sarge, don't be mean to him. You may end up liking him. I'll just skip that. Oh, well, dismissed. Wait a second, what about the dog? What about the dog? Fucking doctor, it's not wise to have a dog inside a lab. He plays fetch! He plays fetch, he's so cute! Oh, throw it! Throw it, Sergeant! This damn dog has served the Everdust better than most of the soldiers on this ship. Talk it out, Jack. Dr. Zanaz only wants what's best for the mission. I'll end up liking Marvin, everyone does. How do you not like Marvin? Look at him. He's freaking adorable. Good boy. Launch again. Yeah! I thought I missed my arm when that psycho cut it off. Oh, he's got like a robotic arm now. I don't understand why there are people who'd sacrifice a limb just to get one of these awesome bionics. So good, it all worked out in the end, right? Nice. The dog is the main villain. It's not very popular with the ladies, though. For a soldier, I couldn't dream of a better implant. I should totally give it a try. I like to be popular among girls. You make me laugh. I've never seen you looking at a single woman. That's true, Kiona, but I'm trying not to think about it that way. I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying the experience I'm having with him right now. Fuck off! Good boy! Where's your good boy? Go get the stick. 
Always afraid of what follows when you ask that, but shoot. Really expect to dismantle Xenolifer peacefully. He was a good guy, though. Maybe I don't agree with his methods, but I respect his cause. Dan Defender Raid, what's happening, guys? Dan Defender, welcome, buddy. Twitch.tv slash Dan Defender. Go follow him. DC UK orders or not, it would have been a waste of a bullet to shoot such a brave man. But we joined DC UK, so we wouldn't have to solve all of our own problems by killing people. I thought you joined the Everdust because the Constellar Federation put a price on your head. And oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, that's enough, buddy. Back to work. Yes, show some love, please. Thank you. Alright. And then she said, I thought it was a mercurial snake. Ha ha ha. Welcome back, gentlemen. How's the research going, Doc? Excellent. Sarah and I detected what causes paralysis within the Medusa virus. It attacks the muscles with a parasitarian live net. It also freezes the user, inducing a chemical coma. Then keeps the vital functions running to create a perfect environment for spores to start growing in the victim's body. Sarah and I reduced the amount of possible compounds to five, so we were pretty close to finding a cure. We'll probably be able to leave Cynicos in a couple of months. Oh, man. Cheer up, Jack. The estimated completion of this project was set at a year and a half. Start reading the mission briefings if I would have no deserted if I knew that. God damn. Oh, hello. It's Liam. All right, Levy, we'll do. Whew. Abraham, how are you? Should I call you Sergeant Burden? Liam. Don't worry, man. You had a job to do. No hard feelings. I'm glad you made it out of the Holistic Empire prison after all. You and your team will come in handy right now for Xenoliver. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I heard you say you're researching a cure for the Medusa virus. Cut the crap, Liam. What do you want? After all we've been through, I hope you'd be glad to see me. To answer your question, though, I want you to give us the cure for the Medusa virus, and I want it now. Excuse us, Mr. Liam, but we are far from discovering one at this point. Still a lot of work to do. That's too bad, especially since I'm in a little bit of a rush right now. Fine, I'll tell you what I want. Or tell you what, rather. Discover your discover a cure by tomorrow and you won't die. It's impossible. Don't underestimate yourself, lady. We The threat of death can be a wonderful motivator. Necessity is the mother of invention. Necessity of death. Not necessarily. Shaman can provide that motivation. Shaman, C4 has been motivating humanity for centuries. Jack, calm down. Liam, listen to me. You're a reasonable man. I'm sure we can find a peaceful resolution here. We'll talk your way out of this, Sergeant. I know you, Burden. You can survive this just like everything else. You're a legend, aren't you? Time to prove it. Liam! Oh! Fuck. Oh my gods, we are going to die, aren't we? Gods will be watching. Mm-hmm. Everybody calm down. Liam is not an assassin. He wouldn't kill us for mere revenge. You're not defending that son of a bitch! Don't lose your cool, Jack. Don't lose your cool, Jack. You keep your cool nice and tight. Right there, that's where you need your cool. If one of us dead, we'd be dead. Better start working fast and smart. Doctor, how much time do we have? Based on our research so far, we'll be dead in about 27 and a half hours. That's plenty of time. Brandon, how much debris do you have blocking the exit? 3,712 kilograms exactly, sir. Take it easy, Dan. Thanks for the raid, buddy. Roxas, welcome, welcome. Okay. It's a lot of work, but if we cooperate, we can dig all that shit out in time. If we get the fact that we are all infected, even if we get out, we'll be dead. Understood. Your mission is to find a cure in less than 48 hours. Doctor, there are some lines that can be crossed in order to speed up the investigation. Cross them. What do you mean, Doctor? Human experimentation. I'm just gonna blindly shoot random compounds into ourselves. Apparently, we choose between a certain death or a possible death. <laughs> oh god. All right. Yeah, I'll. Don't worry. I'll. I'll ask for help if I need it. Don't need to be encouraging me any further. Start digging in. Follow the doctor's instructions. We have to avoid overworking ourselves. In this situation, being well rested is just as important as working. Okay. I think Sarah and I can produce some synthetic accelerants through the use of the chemical computer. Adrenaline will speed up work and sedatives can help you rest better. There's some drawbacks. Adrenaline will make you feel pretty tired after a while due to overworking. Sedatives will leave a person knocked out for a good bit of time, but it's a good way to recover faster. I see. Any 
case, we should work mainly on developing an antidote. Step one, produce an antidote. Step two, inject it into someone. Step three, pray. If the subject endures the shot, we analyze their blood and see what went right and what went wrong, then repeat. I'm a little lost. Focus on leading the team. If you want to know more about any aspect of the research, just ask me. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, guys, telling me step by step the first time I do this is not going to be the way that I promise you, I will ask if I need the help, so please uh, hold off on the back seating for a little while. Work in spans of 30 minutes. Use the clock on the right top corner of the computer to begin work sessions. After every 30 minutes of work, we can reassess the situation. Wait a second. The power supply seems to have been damaged. We can't let the battery drop below zero or we're screwed. I volunteer myself to connect the broken power supply. Is it safe? Brandon is tough as hell, it might actually work. I can do maintenance on him so he doesn't get toasted. Okay. Or you can sacrifice me and leave me as a permanent connection so power won't be a problem anymore. No way, I need you digging as much as everyone else. Okay, Everdust team. What? Just wanted to remind you that what we found in research prior, if any of us experience paralysis, we can fight it with a temporary jolt of electricity. That's why the defibrillator unit is here. Maybe the preparations we have to have up to... We can have up to three charges on standby for use. In the meantime, you get to skip digging, don't you? Those are the benefits of having a wider set of skills other than just shooting things. <laughs> got him! Fucking got him, man. Everyone knows what they have to do. Go, Everdust team. All right. Just kidding. Go. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So there is a shitload of stuff going on in this mission. So, digging here. Donald, you can dig, charge your defibrillator, repair Brandon. Defibrillator, sorry. Defibrillator. That is a tough word to say. Whew. Uh, repair Brandon, inject. We don't have any substances to inject, that's right. And uh, analyze blood or rest with Brandon. Charge defibrillator. Defibrillator. Connect power lines, request information, arrest. Connecting the power lines, I believe, charges the battery. Doctor, use the computer, ask about blank, inject blank, blah, blah, blah. Jack can dig. Seems like a pretty good idea. Sadistic Angel, how you doing? And Marvin. Oh, Marvin can dig. There we go. Good. And, uh, of course, I can dig as well. All right. Here we go. Um, let's start with some digging. So let's have Jack go dig. And I want to see what happens when we do this. Defib, yeah, there you go. That's a better way of saying it. Okay, so I think that's just going to keep happening while I tell other people what to do. Martin, or Marvin, rather, obviously, is going to dig as well. Look <laughs> at his dainty little paws. Looks like a runway model. Runway model of a dog. Bear Chaos, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. This mission is a pain to do again. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Okay, so. Ask about... Wow, there's a lot of options. This looks like it takes time to do as well. Ask about compounds. All these compounds seem pretty complicated. It's complicated science, but putting the theory of chemical computing aside, it's all quite simple. We know the Medusa virus is weak against certain compounds. We haven't discovered the virus's molecular structure yet. Mm -hmm. The only thing we can do know is that the virus doesn't have any repeated compounds in its structure. That's probably important to remember. A beta, beta, beta case isn't possible. Neither is omega, delta, delta combination. Just don't repeat compounds. The correct compound sequence would be alpha, beta, lambda. Okay. Use computer. Research end. Initializing compound setting sequence. Choose risk level. Safe, cautious, unstable. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Watch that dog dig. Look at him go. Oh, he's behind my head. Oh, yeah, he's digging right into my skull, isn't he? Oh, you good boy. 
Which of the boy that you are. There we go. That was entirely necessary. Oh, man. Glad you came back into it. Yeah, back in the dumpster for sure. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with this, so I'm just going to go with dangerous. Set compound number one of alpha, uh, lambda, and delta. Set a new project, research nature dangerous, risk of death 75%. Rin or s oh, that's I thought that was like her class of person or something. Um, I guess now I can have Donald charge the defib, and I'll have Brandon connect the power lines. Is that good? The dog's face is bare. Yes, I am a dog's face. It's true. And now, I guess we can have... Oh. Is that getting worse? Is that getting worse? Hold on. No, it's just like randomly louder for whatever reason. Okay. Um, let's use the computer. For... Actually, no, this is a bad idea. I don't know why I did that. Um, I think asking about the other stuff may lead us to uh, be able to better figure out what the correct combination is or something like that. What's the difference between a risky antidote and a safe one? The difference is in the time we spend developing it. The more time spent applying various security protocols that would lead to a safer antidote, the longer it'll take to produce. On the other hand, we can speed up research by making a few shots in the dark and educated guesses hoping that nothing goes wrong along the way. Safer antidotes will be easier to endure for the subject, riskier antidotes will more likely... But if we can discover the right compounds for the cure, even lethal antidotes would remain harmless. So if you know for sure the solution for the antidote, go ahead with a quick research. In any case, the decision is yours. Evaluate the risk and make the decisions. Okay, that makes sense. That does indeed make sense. Justin Porter, welcome, guys. Woo. Dude, okay, listen, man. I don't know what to do. That's why I'm doing things progressively. You know what to do. That's why it's obvious to you. People with a higher body mass can endure the experimental antidotes better than others. In, in case you're interested, here are the team's weights. Okay, Donald, Jack, Doctor, Sarah, and Marvin are at the bottom. Obviously, Marvin is the lightest of the bunch. So, Donald is this guy. Jack, the Doctor, and Sarah. Obviously, we can't kill Burden. Stay easy, lab guy. And what about me? I don't know, the ECUK didn't give me any medical records on you. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so... We should continue to ask him about stuff, I'm sure. Um... Research steps. Let me get what the procedure is for creating a cure. Oh, right. There we go. Already got all that. Okay, so... I guess now... Jack would have been good for injection, theoretically, yet yeah, this guy, yeah, his new name is Guinea Pig, exactly. Um, well, I guess what I want to do is have Burden dig, and then that will be the end of this half hour, I suppose. No, I actually have to have the doctor do something, too, I believe. Alright. So, doctor can use the computer and make another attempt. Let's research an antidote. Everybody has a task. Use the clock on the top right corner of the computer to start a work session. Okay. We want to work for 30 minutes right now. Let's do this. This is a very, very complicated mission. This is crazy. All right. So we're halfway to the progress of this antidote being complete. Uh, what is the status of Brandon? He just charged the battery for a little bit. Let's have him dig now, because I'm afraid of killing him. I'm not really sure what the uh, implications of that are, aside from a dead robot. We can't test an antidote on Brandon, so I don't know. Alright, um, 
as we're gonna keep going with this research. This antidote is gonna be very dangerous. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of regretting having done the very dangerous antidote right there, but I think we'll be okay. All right, here we go. Work for another 30 minutes. We're gonna have two charges of the defib. defib. Mm -hmm. Research complete. Okay. So, we have our first antidote. Should we inject it? Lem now, take it easy. We are still digging. Uh, let's see if I can get information about how much farther we have to go. Debris and performance. Two performance. Okay, so everybody's doing pretty well. This is, oh my god, there is a lot to this mission. You laugh if you got the end of the first try. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Alright, um. So we have three charges here. Oh, man. Well, I guess we gotta inject somebody. And the lead. God, I hate to do it. I'm gonna. I, I'm seriously, like. I'm gonna get torn up about it if I kill this dog. But you guys, you guys think I'm just saying that, but it really will kill me. Okay, let's go for it. No, I don't want to do that though. Is that, did that go? Did that do it? See what happens, I guess. Oh, I should have had those two research. That was stupid. Well, Marvin's still alive. I don't know what that did. I don't think that actually did anything. Wait, hang on. Um, first of all, we gotta use the computer again to make another injection. Um, we can produce sedatives and adrenaline as well if we really wanted to. Jesus Christ, there is a lot going on here. This is seriously complex. Alright, let's research the end of it again. Specializing compound set sequence. I'm gonna go with unstable. 20% chance. Uh huh. Set compound number one. We're gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go Omega Lambda Alpha for this one. So there we go. This is gonna be like what is that game called? Mastermind. It's gonna be like a game of Mastermind where you're trying to find the four colored balls. Except this is with life and death. Okay. So these two. <laughs> yeah, no combos. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. All right. Uh, continue researching the antidote. There we go. So those two will keep working on that. I think I need the robot to, um, charge up the battery a little bit more here. So let's have him do that. Connect the power lines. I didn't inject the antidote? Okay, I didn't think I did. So we now have three full charges in the defibrillator, I think. Let's see if Brandon can tell us that. Request information. Uh, dig power. Current dig power. Oh, this is actually pretty useful. Brandon is really good at digging. Jack is too. Marvin isn't digging that well. So these three are really effective at digging and we're doing things well in that regard. I didn't use it, okay. I didn't think I did. Okay, uh, let's have you... Can I request the status of the team from somebody? I think that's with Brandon. Debris and performance. 3,300 kilos left. Everyone's dig performance is linked to their stamina. Okay. How does Brandon have stamina? Well, I guess he's, he's got batteries to charge. Maybe that makes sense. Okay. Um, I think I've charged the defibrillator as much as I possibly can. So let's have him... Brandon. 
Oh, right, okay. Uh, the squares on the top are the charges. You only have one charge. Oh, okay, so I gotta have him do this again. Alright, let's do that. Let's call it good. Work for 30 minutes here. Put the prongs on the machine right on. So now I have two. Okay, that's good. Making a bit of progress on that. I'm gonna keep charging the battery. I can't tell if I'm uh, putting Brandon in a bad situation here or not. How is the how is the progress looking here on the on the dig? All right, we got 32 kilos left. These guys are getting kind of tired. Mm hmm. I think it might be time to try to inde inject one of these antidotes. Well, I only have one right now. Let's let Donald charge up three defibrillator shots. And then I'll probably inject him. And he'll probably die. But I think I can use the defib on him. Two turns per one charge, or one turn if you have BND work on it. Oh, so both him and... I see. Can Burden work on that? I didn't think he could. No, he can only do the dig. Alright. Um. Oh, are we all buffering? Uh oh. We're still good, right? I think we're still good. Yeah, we're okay. Oh, man. Use the full spare tapping. Yeah, I, I kind of want to, uh, kind of want to inject Donald. But I will let him get that third defib charge, and I think I'm just gonna let things go here. So let's go for another 30 minutes. I'll probably have to repair Brandon at some point. Yeah, I should probably do that soon. Shit, it got me. What? What happened? The doctor and our engineer can't do that right now, okay. Uh, doctor, stop working on the cure. If no one is working on a project, we'll lose our progress. Oh, keep working. She's she's working on it too, isn't she? What? They're both working on it. No, they're good. Okay, yeah, now we got that. Alright, apparently that's... Do we need both? Oh, we'd have to abandon progress on that? Dude, that is shitty. Talk. Thank you for having me on your team, sir. That was <laughs> beautiful. Um, yeah, tell me what happened to Donald, because I'm kind of confused here. So, I am thinking right now... <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Mark. It's like... Shit, it got me. Let, let me wander over here to get out of your way, and then I'll be paralyzed. We'll figure that out. Okay. Can't, you can abandon it and it will continue to work. The project will keep going. Okay. You don't need bull. Just a doctor. Okay, so we're gonna have her continue to work on the uh, antidote. So we'll go like this, and then the doctor can stop working and abandon the project. Then she switches, and now we defibrillate. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that works. We have we have two charges right now, right? There we go. So now we're down to one. He's good to go. They're both kind of tired, apparently. Let's get a quick uh, recap of the status here. Green performance. Brandon is uh, not looking too good. I wonder how much he uh, is repaired if we do this. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's have... These two charge the defibrillator. Since obviously that's a very useful resource. And we can have Dr. Zinez continue to work on the antidote as well. We only need the man doctor to stop working. Okay, got it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Let's keep working toward DLA. I'm hesitant to use that uh, first antidote we concocted because I'm pretty sure it's going to kill somebody. I'm gonna try to use this one we're making instead. Analyzes. Oh, right. Analyzes blood because of the uh, because of the paralysis. 
First, you need to inject me with some experimental antidote. Oh, no. Okay, you can't do that. I thought that would be what happened. Alright, so now we have both of these guys making these, which means we're going to have two of these at, uh, in the next half hour. Let's have another look at the debris and performance. These guys are probably all getting kind of tired. No, we're doing okay. No, we're doing fine. Alright, world's first wireless defibrillator. Isn't that amazing? Donald was hit by the virus, used the fib to fix it, and you have both on the project, so you can have one stop and it'll still be fine. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I was thinking to myself, like, it can't possibly be, um, that if one of them leaves, the entire project is abandoned, because they're both working on the exact same antidotes. And that would, that would not make sense if that were the case. Alright. There we go. Ah, uh, no, still doing some guys will be watching here, Dragon Slayer. You probably will hear that long before I tell you, though. Alright, I think I'm safe to work for another 30 minutes. Antidotes take about two hours to work. Interesting. Okay. This is mission three. Yes, it is, Caleb. So, now Donald can repair Brandon. I don't know uh, how effective that is, and I'm pretty sure Brandon can't do anything when we're doing that, so we've got another half hour to go here. Probably have to start resting some folks at some point. There we go. Research complete! Okay, Malls, what's up? Are you not a mod in here? You should be. Malls, well, there we go. Say hi to Malls, everybody. Okay, so we've got this antidote now. Let's use it on Donald. We're going to inject you with the DLA, the unstable DLA. Good night, Purple Phantom. Take it easy, buddy. Okay, here we go. Inject Donald because he has uh, maximized his use, use in the early goings here. We'll see what happens. And, uh... Oh. Is he dead? Looks like he's doing fine. Should wake up in about 90 minutes. Okay. The doctor says he's okay. Let's get a... Let's get an analysis from Brandon here. Everybody's alright. Duh. Brandon was repaired slightly. Alrighty. This game is stressful to watch. It's stressful to play, man. It's, it's the real deal. Who says I'm not getting attached to the characters, man? It's crazy. Let's have Brandon charge the uh, battery again here. Because we still need battery life, obviously. Let's... Hmm. I kind of want to learn a, a little bit more from this guy. Maybe we should make an adrenaline shot just in case, too. Or we can make a sedative. Team performance, Brandon? Just don't push them too hard. Remember that you can check everybody's current performance. Yeah, a good idea to plan resting periods along with antidote testing. The antidote leaves you unconscious anyway. I see. Okay. That would make sense. You'll know when someone is not okay. Alright, that's good to know. You can adrenaline people that are passed out. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? Alright. Um, we'll have these guys make another... How horrifying is female bear voice? I have my own. I, don't, I haven't tried it with, uh, with Rob's little voice modulator thing, but that thing was uh, insane. Let's do another antidote here. Uh, and I will go for a risky level this time. Let's go with Delta Alpha Omega. That sounds like fun. I did! I got past level two, yes! Jocelyn, that biatch. Bitch! Oh, right, better than right on. Alright, and now, yeah, he's gonna keep having both of them work on this. The dad! <laughs> this is an O, but it looks like we're researching, we're researching Antidote Dad. Alright, now, um... I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Let's move forward. Work for 30 minutes. These guys are probably going to have to take a rest at some point. Yeah, we're doing fine. Everybody's okay. Brandon can continue charging up. 
I'm still not sure what is uh, what's going to be the tell when Brandon needs to stop using his himself as a connection for the power lines. Jack, Marvin, and Burden are all getting kind of tired. Tell you what, let's have Burden since he's one of the uh, one of the least productive members of the dig crew. Let's have Burden rest. Let's have Marvin rest as well. Ling Ling, how you doing? I didn't use two of the same chemicals. That just looks like a D, so that's DAO, so that's Delta Alpha Omega there. Uh, Marvin's gonna rest as well. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he's leaning up against the stage. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no, I am not writing out of the end of notes I've tried. I actually should be doing that, huh? I'm probably gonna start taking some notes at some point when I uh, start learning about things via diagnosis. But for now, I think we'll be okay. Alright, let's go for another half hour. And I think after this... Or no, it's gonna be uh, 30 minutes from now, so the next time I click this, he should be back. Assuming I didn't kill him. Alright, let's take Brandon off this and have him um, dig. He is pretty effective at digging, too. And what is our, what is our status looking like now? Less information about this. Uh huh. All right, Brandon is in need of some repairs, so hopefully Mr. Doctor isn't dead. Marvin and Burden are both resting up. Jack is uh, down to about 60% efficiency, so he could use some rest as well. We'll probably have these two switch in and out. Here we are. Yeah, we gotta make sure the robot doesn't lose his health. He's alive! Is he paralyzed? No, he looks okay. Alright, let's analyze the blood. I'm pretty busy right now, I need to focus on the- Oh, right, yeah, he needs to, uh, okay. You stop working, abandon the project, she's gonna take it over, and now we analyze the blood on Donald. Okay. Here we go. Hopefully we find something useful here. What did we- Reading substance structure, Medusa antidote effectiveness. First compound present is incorrect. Second compound seems to work, but it is misplaced. Oh, this is very, very good. This is very, very good. And third compound present is incorrect. So wait a minute. Did that just tell me... So if it tells me that one of them is right, but it's in the incorrect spot... That would mean that telling me it's completely incorrect would render that compound completely ineffective, meaning we shouldn't put it in any of the future antidotes. That's what I gather from this. So L is one, but it's in the wrong place. So L has to either be at the beginning or the end. So I'm gonna make a notepad here. It is Mastermind, I know, right? It's crazy. So, I've got my notepad out. Lambda is either first or last. Okay. And delta is incorrect. Delta and alpha are incorrect. Okay, very good. Now. Ooh. So yeah, the next one I made is just completely incorrect. Unless that O is right. I'm sure we'll find out. Things are going okay, though. I mean, I've still got three defib charges. Donald is resting. Let's have a look at the status here. Obviously, we're going to want to keep this one researched. You know what? I could just... You know what? I'll just abandon this project, honestly. That's, well, then again, it's nearly done. So let's just finish it off, and then we'll find out. But it is a risk that we don't really need to take, either. Um, three other elements in te to test in there. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I'm testing. I'm testing delta alpha omega right now, or I'm creating delta alpha omega at the moment. Yeah. So the three that are involved are lambda, beta, and what's the other one? It's alpha, beta, delta, lambda, omega. So it's. Lambda, Beta, Omega. It's some combination of Lambda, Beta, Omega. That's what we're looking for. I should write that down. 
LBD, some combination of these three. There we go. Take it easy, Stallion. All right, so. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna finish this one off because it's not that dangerous. I can inject Donald again. And Donald might as well help help dig. Although I could have rest him as well. It's not a terrible idea. Let's just check the status of everybody one more time. I'm glad I'm starting to understand this mission. It's very complex, but it's starting to uh, starting to come together now. Uh, Donald is okay to dig, I think. In fact, you know what? Actually, I should have uh, I should have Donald repair Brandon. So let's have Brandon rest, and I'll have Donald repair Brandon. There we go. Omega is incorrect, the Delta may be correct. Switch the Omega with the Delta. Wait, what? That was an O, not a D. What are you talking about? I, I think we're all on the same page. I'm not really sure why you guys are freaking out. I probably, I, I misspoke, I'm sorry. I have the correct notes, but I, I must have just accidentally said something wrong. How's it going, Epic Waffles? Insane in all caps is definitely not the way to go about it. Okay, we're good to go. I think we can work for 30 minutes, and uh, there we are. Yeah, the font choice is kind of questionable, really. or, yeah, questionable, to be honest. Oh, it's done. Yes, it's done. Good. Okay. So let's um, let's see. Let's do a quick status check here. Uh, let's get. Uh, oh, that's Donald. Whoops. Uh, oh, right. I need to have him stop. Okay. So let's go ahead and have you rest. Brandon uh, can give me some information. Let's see how we're doing. Jack's probably gonna need a break here. Yeah, Jack's down to fifty-two percent. Brandon's. Guys, if something is <laughs> for real, if something's said in the chat 40 times, you don't have to say it again. For the love of God. Rest, Jack. Yes, you definitely need to take a break. But let's inject Donald with... Hold on. Hold on a second. So Delta and Alpha are incorrect. The Omega is the only thing that we're hoping to find here. Or no, sorry. God damn it. Delta's incorrect. Omega is what we want. Okay, got it. So it's LBO. Wait a minute, what the hell am I doing? Hold on a second, I've gotta... What did I tell myself? Omega is not in it. That D and that O look way too similar. <laughs> it's literally one pixel difference. No, two pixels difference. Omega is incorrect. Okay, got it. Omega is incorrect. I had it right. I see, I had the same thing written down twice, but now I got it. Alright, so Omega is incorrect. Delta is correct. Okay, we're good. Got it. Yeah, that's a good idea, Sarbom. So maybe we should inject Jack this time, because he does need a break. So, we want to, um... Hmm. Lambda in the middle is wrong. So that first one, we don't even need to try, really. And, um... Yeah, so let's just go with the risky one, and we'll inject it into Jack. Oh shit! Oh no, not Don! Oh god damn it! I didn't realize what I was doing. That was a mistake. Oh well. <sighs> yeah, this game is very, very difficult. All right, let's diagnose him real fast. Okay, 90 minutes. So, let's see. All right, whatever. Gave that to him. Jack is gonna rest. Brandon, uh, how you doing? Do I want to charge the battery or do I want to dig with Brandon? How are we doing with the debris? 2,700 kilos right now. 
You're right. Yeah, Donald's a safe injection. I just kind of wanted to inject Jack because, um... Because Jack needed to rest anyway, so... But whatever, we're fine. Okay. Sorry, I just need to check on this one more time, because I think I'm going to send Marvin and uh, Burden over to dig. Now they still need to rest, okay. They're not really helping themselves like this. So... So we need some kind of combination of Lambda, Beta, and Delta. Alpha and Omega are incorrect. Alpha and Omega are wrong. Lambda can't be in the middle, so Lambda could be in the beginning. So let's do this. Let's go with Lambda, Beta, Delta. Okay. That'll work. We can have both of these guys research the antidote. All right. All right. Yeah, Donald's a trooper. He's willing to take the gamble for everyone, right? All right. So, now we need Brandon. Still have three defib charges. Let's have him... Let's have Brandon dig, actually, because we still want to be making progress on the dig. And I think I'm going to have whoever is feeling the best out of the three currently resting go dig as well. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, Donald is doing... Well, obviously Donald's sedated. Uh, Marvin and Burden. You know I'm going to have Marvin, Marvin keep digging. He's obviously not that useful. But every little bit of progress is probably okay. Okay, let's, let's do it. Hopefully Donald doesn't die. Gonna give someone an injection of pure libido. There you go. Alright, Donald's doing fine, right? Should be fine in about 60 minutes. Okay. Uh, Jack is still resting. Let's get a quick end in just to make sure everybody's still cool, and then we'll probably just advance another half hour. Alright. Yep, Marvin's doing okay. Brandon's working. And Jack is resting up. David, you're pretty. Where's it going, buddy? Okay. Another half hour. Let's do it. Let's do it! Burden resting like a badass for sure. 30 more minutes. Yeah, we're probably just good to keep this going. And then we'll get the blood work done on uh, Donald here. Oh, yeah, y'all doggy. Thank you, good boy. Alright. Donald's good. Wolf! Oh, no. Oh, God. Par paralyzed Marvin. Let's fix this. Stop working real quick. Man of the project, yes. Alright. Fix him up. We are not losing Marvin. Oh, we could have done it with either one. Oh, well. There we go. You okay? He's fine. He's good. Good. Okay. Woof! I'm, I'm paralyzed. Help me. All right. Let's uh, analyze the blood of Donald. Here we go. Hopefully, uh, we were correct with the Delta. That would be awesome. All right. Let's find out. First compound seems to work, but is in the right place, or is misplaced, which means I think we're right about Delta being at the end. Alpha is incorrect, Omega is incorrect. Okay. So, that was Delta is not in front. Delta is not in front. Alright. Good. The DAO. Delta was in the incorrect place. So we're trying LBD with this antidote. Lambda, Beta, Delta might be it. Otherwise, it has to be the, um, it has to be LBD, right? I think that's what that means. I think we're ruling it out, so we're saying that either... Yeah, I think the D has to be at the end. So this compound might be right. Back from the Lurk layer of Oxal Leaf. Yes, this is pretty tense. Welcome back, Third Strike. Greetings to the Tapiites. Yeah, the L has to be at the 1, right. Or does it? No, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, we'll find out. 
All right, for now, let's keep looking here. Let's have a quick look at everybody's status. We could go for another defib, defib charge. Uh, Donald is doing quite well. Brandon is still at 80%, obviously, because it just continues to dig. These two are resting. Burden's uh, feeling pretty good. He could probably go dig some more. And Donald can charge the defibrillator. Okay. You continue working on the computer. Research the antidote. Alright. A couple more. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to have to have Brandon come over here and charge up the battery. We're running kind of low, so let's go have him do that. There we go. I'm trying to find a spot for the D, exactly. There we go. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. It's not going terribly. We've had, uh, I think we've had decent luck, honestly. That's really been the story of the mission so far. Alright. Got another battery charge, making progress on that antidote. Now... So yeah, L... Okay, so here's what we know for a certainty thus far. Lambda is correct, it has to be either at the front or at the end. So if we do this antidote and we discover that L is not in front, we know that L is the last compound. Delta is not in the front, but it is correct. So Delta has to be either in the second or the third slot. Omega and Alpha are completely gone, so it's some combination of Lambda, Beta, and Delta. That's what we know up to this point. That is the absolute confirmed truth. Alright, let's just have a quick status update. Jack and Marvin are still healing up. Burden's doing fine. Donald's great. Sarah needs to rest, actually. So Sarah's going to probably need to take a breather pretty soon here. Which is kind of unfortunate. Brandon is doing okay. I think we can have him charge the battery one more time. And then we'll have another defib charge. And then we'll be able to repair Brandon as well. Okay. Nearly there with that antidote. Let's have Brandon rest. Donald's good to go. Let's have him repair Brandon. These two are doing okay. Let's just have them rest one more time, and then we'll just do another 30 minutes, and we should have the antidote after that. Science! Yes! Alright. Now, research complete. This could be the right one. We could inject Sarah, since she really needs to rest anyway. That's not a terrible idea. Uh, I'm gonna have... Actually, you know what? I don't want to lose Sarah, obviously. But we're, we're narrowing it down to an incredible degree, so maybe we don't absolutely need Sarah. And if we just have the Doctor left over, we can just go for, like, something incredibly dangerous and take a gamble on that. So I think I'm going to inject Sarah with this one. We will inject Sarah with the unstable LVD. Obviously, she's not the most ideal candidate because she's, like, the lightest of the group. But she needs to rest... And, yeah, that's the biggest justification for that. Alright. So that's all good. Let's have a quick diagnosis. Looks like she's doing fine. <laughs> He's doing fine. Oh, we gotta wait three hours for her, though. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, that's what the problem is there. Yeah, she's got a relatively high chance to die. She's gonna be well-rested at the end of this, though. Alright, so she takes a very long time. So that means uh, what we want to focus on now. Let's have a, let's have this guy stop first of all. Let's have you dig. Obviously not the most ideal situation again, but that's okay. Um, do you need to connect the power lines? Let's go ahead and do this. Debris and performance. Everyone's okay. Sarah's resting. The doctor needs to rest as well. So maybe we'll just have the doctor rest until she's back. That's not a, that's not terrible. I realize the implications of Sarah being knocked out of commission, aka killed, but think about it like this. I'm going to be figuring out at least two of the three things I need to be certain about the formula. I just flipped you guys off on accident, sorry. <laughs> so I think I'm going to be okay just doing quick research with the doctor if I have to con concoct one more antidote if this one doesn't happen to be correct. So I'm willing to take that gamble. I think we're I think we're gonna be okay in that respect. Uh, so I can go ahead and just keep digging with Dan. <coughs> keep digging with Brandon here. Sorry. Uh, yeah. 
And otherwise we're okay. Jack and Marvin are almost ready to go again. Let's keep digging. Let's have everybody dig, why not? Dig, dig, dig away. And we'll call it good. Rest up. It's the Medusa virus. Yes, indeed. Look at all that digging progress. Look at that, it's beautiful. How's it going, Brandon? Quest information. Free in performance. Only two, just shy of 2,300 kilos left to go. Everyone's doing okay. All right, let's do another half hour here. We'll probably have to switch it up after that. I imagine somebody's probably going to need the defib at some point pretty quickly here. I would not be surprised. Everything's looking pretty much the same. Let's have a quick check on Sarah. She's fine. He's going to wake up in about two hours. And uh, let's have a quick look at the status of the doctor because I probably want him to uh, start work on another antidote pretty soon. He's doing fine. So let's have the doctor use the computer. Okay, so let's think about this. So we made LBD. LBD was the one that we made that we just injected into Sarah. So if L is not correct in the front, that would mean L has to be at the end. So, let's go ahead and go with uh, Risky because that's pretty much a guarantee. Beta, Delta, Lambda, BDA. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that'll work. Probably could have gone with something even more risky, but that's okay. With all those guys dicking, digging, dicking, <laughs> dicking. Why does it look like they've made no progress? That's a good point. It's kind of interesting. I think I can keep digging here, though. Go ahead and request information. Yeah, I probably should have gone with something a bit more risky. All right, debris and performance. Yes. Yeah, we're all getting kind of tired, but we'll keep digging here. All right. There we go. Oh man, doing this mission again would be kind of crazy if you failed it the first time. Right, now I think I need some people to rest, so let's check on the status again. Yeah, I probably should have done lethal. Oh well. Three performance. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We still have plenty of time, so it's okay. Brandon obviously can keep digging, but we do need to charge the battery a little bit, so I'm probably going to bring him over and do that. I'm going to have Donald rest. Now, Donald can keep working, and then he'll work on Brandon after he's done digging here. Uh, Burden definitely needs to rest, so let's have Burden come out and uh, take a breather. Rest it up. Uh, Marvin isn't helping that much, so we'll have him rest as well. Uh, Jack can keep digging. Donald can keep digging as well, and Brandon needs to charge the power lines. So there we go. Yeah, sorry guys, I did run over time. I, did, I ran over schedule here. I didn't realize we were going to be playing uh, Gods Will Be Watching so much, but I got completely addicted. Once we got past mission two, dude, I was like, let's go for it. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right, uh, so everything's good to go. We're going to wait for this 30 minutes, and we're going to be okay. All right, looking good. No one got paralyzed. That's wonderful. So we got 60 minutes until Sarah wakes up. Brandon can continue charging, I think. Let's have a quick look at the status of everybody right now. Uh, 66. Donald needs to rest. Jack's not doing so hot either. So let's have him charge one more hour of the battery, and then Donald and Brandon will get, get together for some repairs. And that'll do that. Uh, I'm going to be doing some... I'm uh, more than likely going to be doing some Mount Your Friends with Alpaca Patrol, assuming he's still down to do it. I know I'm kind of running over time, and hopefully he's still around, but we'll either do Mount Your Friends or uh, Necathon after this. Okay. So, 30 minutes left until she needs to um, come back up. And now Donald needs to repair Brandon. I think Jack needs to take a rest as well. And that'll probably be this half hour, so there we go. Good to be rested up. <laughs> Rob will... Rob will mount me with... with ferociousness. 
Okay. Oh, but if he abandons this... Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That was dumb. Can I... Hang on. Oh, she can do it to herself. Okay, that's good. That is extremely handy. I'm really glad that wasn't a problem. That would have been... That would have felt really dumb. Nice! That's correct. That's correct. That's correct! Yes! We got it! LBD! This is the right one. Congratulations. Now all we need to do is find the compounds for the second structure. What? Medusa virus attacks the brain and the muscles. We just found a cure for the physical paralysis, but there's still the mental effect. The virus psychological effects are my specialty. That's why I came in the first place. It's good to have you here, but please, next time you scream Eureka, make sure this is the final one. Yeah, no kidding! What the shit? Ah. God, alright, whatever. I guess that's okay. Well, let's make another one, I guess. See if BDL may be good. I don't need to keep these notes anymore. Ugh, yeah, it wouldn't be that easy, no kidding. I thought maybe we'd uh, just gotten really lucky here. Alright, well... Keep having him repair Brandon, I guess, and we'll just keep re uh, resting here, and we'll just finish this one up, too. Alright. Here we go. Cure and bullshit hype. Yes, indeed. God damn it. Alright. Let's have a look here. Rest up. Still got three defib charges, obviously. Let's have a quick look at all of our party's condition. Donald really needs to rest, so it's a good thing he's doing that now. Marvin's good to go, so we can have Marvin dig away. Jack and Burden both need to take a break. Brandon can dig if we want, want him to. We probably need to have him charge away as well. The doctor is kind of feeling down. Let's have you connect the power lines for a battery charge, and we'll have Marvin and Jack go dig. That's who it was, right? I think Jack's okay. Jack seems to be, uh, fine, yeah. Well, actually, Jack could use more rest. Let's go ahead and have this be the situation. Okay. There we go. Bear hype right into bear rage. Yes, exactly. Alright. That one's complete. Let's inject Donald, because he needs to rest anyway. What the hell? BDLA. What does that mean? Okay. Stop the research. What are you talking about? Why would we stop the research? Diagnosis. He's doing fine. Wake up in 90 minutes. I don't realize... I don't realize what's going on, guys. Don't, don't hold me accountable for... It. Not understanding this thus far. It turned into four. Um. Oh, and I, okay. So now we're just discovering an entire new compound that's four compounds. Okay, now I get it. Good. So just added an alpha at the end. That makes sense. Uh, the last one is for the mental part of the virus. Okay, so what I'm expecting this uh, to be now is it's not just added on to the LBD, it has to be a completely new set of four compounds. So we're 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 basically just playing the actual version of Mastermind now. That's that's what we're getting at. Right? Okay. I think that's what it is. So let's go ahead and just do four random things, I guess. Well maybe we don't want to do that actually. Hang on a second. Well I'll just hang on. Alpha, Beta, Delta, Lambda, just for shits and giggles. And, uh, well, I need the doctor to rest, so he's gonna stop working on this real fast. Abandon that project. I think I need the doctor to just take a breather. That's correct? Okay, cool. And yeah, the doctor's feeling kinda... iffy. Welcome to Mastermind 2.0. There we go. The one with the most different with the one you just made. Okay, so we just made LBDA. No, we just made BDLA, right? So we made, made BDLA for Donald. There we go. And um, 
now. Let's go with, um... Be helpful even if that be the LA compound. Right, yeah, so we're still gonna discover something from that. So now let's have Dr. Rest and let's have Sarah make a completely different antidote. Let's go with something, uh, let's go with Risky and we'll go with Omega, uh, Beta, Alpha, Lambda. O-B-A-L. Oval. That'll be good. Take it easy, Candy Poo. Have a good one. All right. So we're resting. Let's have a quick look at uh, Burden and Jack, see if they can help with the dig real fast. I think they're uh, getting to feel a little bit better. They could probably go for one more half hour of rest. And then we'll probably have to take Brandon off the, off the power lines. Okay. He's got 30 more minutes, I believe, until he comes back up. 60 more minutes, okay. Uh, let's have a quick look at the statuses. Status high, status E. Brandon's still doing okay. I could probably have him charge again. Jack and Burden are feeling pretty good. The doctor's still resting. Good old 69%. Let's just do this one more time. There we go. Bears Oval. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we need to dig a lot as well. Alright. Brandon probably... Oh, God. Look at all this shit that's filling up this room. This is crazy. Brandon needs to be taken off the power lines and probably go start digging. So let's have him do that now. Let's have a quick look at the progress of the dig as well, because I haven't been paying attention to that at all. Uh, 1889. Hmm. Maybe I want to make an adrenaline so I can go a little bit quicker with the dig. Let's do that. Actually, I don't know how the doctor's doing. Well, he'll probably be okay. And Burden and Jack can both go help with the dig now. And then we should have the doctor back. Or, not the doctor, but uh, Donald back. Once we do this. Alright. Looks good. Let's analyze his blood. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can't have that drilling going now. Shit, that was a waste. Oh well, I should have had him keep rest resting there. Oh well, that's fine. Not a big deal. Not the worst thing in the world. Let's analyze this blood. Maybe we got it right in the first try. That'd be cool. <laughs> Freaking sweet. Alright, let's find out. Ooh, okay. Beta is correct, but in the wrong place. Beta is not in front. Alright. Delta is correct, but in the wrong place. Right. Delta is not second. Lambda is in the correct, or is not in the correct place either. Lambda is not third. And A is right out. All right, so. Blood analysis complete. All right. How you doing, Donald? I think he needs to rest some more. Let's have a quick look. Three in performance. Uh, okay, so the doctor is doing fine. Both Donald and Brandon kind of need to rest. Donald could repair Brandon. We can make a sedative for Donald. We're probably just going to inject Donald again with the oval. Wait, what? It's not a guaranteed thing, right? You're not telling me that it's a guarantee that the first three are always the same because you would have said something about that earlier. You wouldn't have just let me do that, right? It's not just LBD and then a random fourth compound. That was what we just tested. I real I recognize that. No, that was what we tested the, um... Yeah, okay, no, never mind. That's not what I uh, tried bold just for shits and giggles, yeah. I mean, we can still get something valuable... ...out of this one that we're making. So 
Seriously? It's the same with a different fourth one? Oh, really? That's dumb. Hold on. I don't think... No, that, that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense. The second antidote is a fourth sequence with the same combination of the first, but not the It's not, right? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not that simple. That's what I thought. Okay, good. I'm going to keep this one going because we're still going to learn quite a bit from this. Yeah, make it. that would make it way too easy, so it's obviously not that, that case. All right, so I uh, kind of lost my train of thought here now, so I gotta reanalyze everything. Let's request the information here. Oh shit! Whoops. There we are. Boom! I need to get some people rested. Let's take. Uh, let's take Brandon off. And have him rest. Let's have Donald repair Brandon. These two are still doing okay. Now the doctor help out with the research of this one, even though I know it's not correct. We're hopefully gonna learn something from it. Okay. Let's keep going. We're gonna be okay. Still haven't gotten any paralysis here. Whew. You have to ghost the antidote and run the red dragon through the rocks. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's keep on repairing. I think I'm okay with this co uh, continued circumstance here, so let's go ahead and do that. Keep it moving. Alright. So, let's have this stop. We're gonna have Donald rest. Brandon's in pretty good condition now, I think. Degree in performance. Donald is uh, very much in need of a break. Brandon's doing okay. Sarah needs to be rested as well. All three of these guys could use some rest. How much was... Oh, I didn't even realize. How much is left here? The answer is clearly and obviously BTLS. We have still uh, quite a bit of digging to do, so let's have Brandon dig, and then we'll probably have to rest a little bit more after that. There we go. Alright, this one's done. Inject it into Donald. And we'll find out quite a bit. The risky Oval. The risky, risky Oval. Let's find out what happens. 4 a.m. for every GPL, goddamn. Let's find out how it's doing. 90 minutes to wake up. Alright, Brandon, how we doing, buddy? Got some more information. Brandon can keep digging for a long time here. We don't necessarily have to charge the battery. So we probably want to keep him there. I think I'm going to have these guys continue digging, and I'm going to have these guys rest, because we definitely need them to, uh be available when Donald wakes up. So let's keep this going. No one sleeps when they're tested. Yes, indeed. Very good, very good. Now, do we need to keep this going? Free in performance. Guys, we're all getting kind of tired. Brandon can just keep digging forever, apparently. I, I need to keep looking at this one, though. Uh, as soon as this mission is over, we'll probably switch over to Mount Your Friends, guys. How far? God damn it. Come on, dude. <laughs> Help me out. Don't need to be exact with my clicking, please. Ooh, 
points. Alright, 1300 kilos left. You can fuck right off with your fail fish, buddy. Right, we're almost to Donald. Oh shit, whoa, buddy, how you doing? Oh shit. Chances of death, 13%. Do I need to give him an adrenaline shot? I don't have one. That's not a very high chance of death. Hang on. Uh, I think I need to let the dig group rest. Hold on a moment. Donald's still working hard. Oh no. Hmm. We're making decent progress here. I don't know what this violent shaking means. I mean, like, 13%, it's really not that Donald's dancing. Um, I think we're gonna let this go still. I'm gonna have Jack and Burden rest. Because they're really not helping that much. So there we go. Just having a dream, yeah, exactly. And Marvin really doesn't do that much anyway, so I might as well have him rest, too. Well, you know, I, I have him contribute a little bit. Okay, well, let's hope I don't get terrible luck here. Let's do it. He's alive! Hooray! Donald's good to go. Alright, let's analyze this blood. See what happens. Obviously, um, Alpha is not going to be correct. We may make some progress here. Hoping for some good luck. Alright, Delta is not first or second. First or second. There we go. <laughs> if it's a 1% chance, I'm most assuredly going for sure. Alright. Beta is not in first or second either. So, it's either DB or DN. That's what we know for sure. So, either... XXBD or XXDB. That's what we've discovered. Alpha's wrong. L is... Wait, what? What? Oh, that's... Oh! Oh, okay. God, those look so similar. <laughs> Alright. That is... Reassuring. Delta is not second. Omega is not first. Okay, got it. Um, Alright, so it's either... So L is at the end. What did we learn about Omega? It's not at the front. Hmm. So let's see. Gonna have this. Delta is not the second one. Beta has to be third. Okay, so we know it's XXBL. So let's see. XXBL. Omega isn't Omega is not first. So it has to be second. So it has to be OBL at the end. Alpha is out, so it's D-O-B-L. Yeah. Alright, so it's double. Double is what we're going for. 100% certainty. Let's go with the lethal injection. Double barrel, so OP. Yep. D-O-B-L. There we go. Yep. We got it. We figured it out. So, now the objective... Obviously, we're just going to make this compound, but let's have a quick look at how we're doing first. Let's request information here. Double hype! Now, Brandon's doing fine, obviously. Everybody's resting up. The doctor and Sarah are both good to go. Doctor can go ahead and use the computer to make this compound. Research the end, though. 100%. Delta first. Omega second. Beta third, Lambda fourth. There we go. Yes. Alright, now 
Research this. You do the same. I don't think I need any sedatives or adrenaline right now. I think we'll be good. And, uh... I might just need to have everybody dig. Let's see how uh, Donald's doing. He might be able to contribute. Yeah, he's okay. He can dig. Alright, let's do it. Let's see how long it takes to make the double. Oh, hey, we did it. That was fast. Research complete. Okay, now. Give it to Donald, obviously. To be the quickest. Inject the D-O-L-B. D-O-L-B, D-O-B-L. There we go. There we go, baby. We got it. Awesomest man alive, welcome. Okay. There's that. Let's see how long it takes. Wake up about 90 minutes. Marvin probably needs to rest. Let's have him... Well, actually... Hold on a second. Let's have a quick look at everybody again. So these two obviously don't need to work on anything else over here, so they can go and help dig. Marvin is at less than 50% efficiency, so we should definitely take a break. Let's do this, and then let's uh, let the clock go another half hour. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, how we doing? How we doing? Bring in performance. Uh, yep, a thousand kilos left. Doctor and Jack could both come dig, and Burton's doing okay as well. I think Sarah needs to rest a little bit. Uh, so yeah. Oh, wait, these two can't even dig. So we might as well use them for something. Let's see, use this, and let's make an adrenaline just in case. Actually, let's, let's make both, why not? Just in case we need them for something. And then these two can go dig. And Marvin can take a break. Okay. Keep it up. I probably need Brandon to charge the battery at least one more time. Let's take Brandon off and have him go charge the battery. Connect the power lines. Just to be safe. Alright, here we go. Donald's good to go. Let's analyze this blood. I don't know why I did this this way. That was dumb again. It's, I guess the sedative is better than the adrenaline at this point, so let's have the doctor stop working. That was stupid. Alright, analyze the blood. If this is incorrect, I'm gonna have no idea what went wrong. Should be good, though. One down, two down, three down, four down. Got it. We discovered the cure! Incredible work, Doctor. We owe you our lives. We don't owe me nothing if you don't clear the debris in time. The extreme exposure to the Medusa virus is incurable, so get us out of here. O3 burden. My pleasure. That was a glitch. <laughs> Donald needs to dig. How you doing, Brandon? The debris and performance scale. 841 kilos left to go. Uh, we should make an adrenaline shot with Dr. Zanez right now. So let's do that. Uh, I will leave Brandon to charge the battery one more time just in case. Work for another 30 minutes. And then Marvin will get back in here and help out with the dig. I'm loving it that the smoke is going away. That's beautiful. Don't really need that sedative anymore, but we might as well have her keep it going. Alright, dig with Brandon. Keep it going, baby. We're making this happen. O3 burden hype! Yes, indeed. Okay. Made a sedative. Not at all useful. How are we doing with status? How's it going, Brandon? What's the information? We've got 650 kilos left to go. I'm probably gonna give. Who's the uh, who digs the most besides um, Brandon here? Dig power. I'm gonna give Jack an adrenaline shot as soon as that's ready to go. So 
Other than that, I mean, obviously we we certainly need some rest here. Dragon Master, welcome. Yeah, Blainson, the gods will be watching. Here. I'm gonna give Bird an sedative, then bring him back. Inject. Does that give us the sedative? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so Burden is gonna rest. And Jack is gonna take this adrenaline shot as soon as it's ready to go. He's just gonna sleep up on the wall. Beautiful. Alright, there is. Adrenaline here. We'll finish that next turn. And we will continue on. There we go. Oh, sorry. Apologies. I was a little bit quiet. Right in the neck. There we go. I'm really glad I didn't accidentally misclick with the lethal injection there. All right, let's do it, Jack. Let's party! Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, how we doing, Brandon? Everybody can be as tired as they want as long as we're continuing to make progress here. 553, okay. Uh, we can make more adrenaline shots. Let's keep it going. You two do the same thing. And, uh, Burden is still... Does he still need to rest? Let's have a look. Hell yeah, baby, let's party it up! Right, Burden is... Oh god, checks at 123%. That's amazing. Alright, Burden can probably rest one more time. Party time, baby. How close are we? Feel pretty rested. Alright, good. Go dig. Dig it up, my friend. Research a host of lethal injections and kill everybody off 30 minutes before you escape. Alright, Burden's good to go. Everybody's digging like crazy. This is fine. This is good. We're nearly out. Let's get it going. Give that dog some adrenaline, yes. I wonder if I can give the robot adrenaline. We have one more shot here. Who needs some help? Mm-hmm. Chop, chop, digging team. Yes, indeed. Uh-huh. We're almost out. Let's give, uh... We could give Jack another adrenaline shot. That's not a terrible idea. I don't really want to give Marvin an adrenaline shot. So let's give Jack the adrenaline shot again. And then I'm probably going to have uh, Brandon go do the battery one more time just in case. So let's do that. Brandon's got pr plenty of health. Go connect the power lines just to be sure. I know, I know. Calm down. We're good. Everything's fine. It's okay. Like, seriously, you guys. Don't say the same thing 40 times. Jesus Christ. Alright, how we doing, Brandon? Read performance. Alright, we're good to go. We don't need the rest of this. Everybody just works on half power. We go dig. We're almost out of here. We got it. We don't even need to make anything else. We'll just have them rest. Beautiful. We did it! I think we're out. Oh, maybe not. I think we have a little bit left to go. It's very, very close. Hello, Stallion. Welcome. 32 kilos left. All right. This should be it. Should be it. There we go. Did we win? Fuck the gods, we really did it. Let's get out of here. Nice! Hooray! Don't. Beautiful. Our mission is to protect the team, not engage in direct combat. So happy to see you again, Sergeant. What are you doing, Liam? Is this your twisted notion of revenge? If that's what you want, you'll end it faster by just executing me. These people don't have anything to do with Xeno Lifer. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? I'm sorry, but revenge is not what I'm after. What I'm really after is a cure to the Medusa virus. The thing about leaving your team isolated with the virus? 
Well, that was a gamble. I had my own research team, you know. But I can never apply these conditions on them, if you know what I mean. All's well that ends well, no? Never imagined you would be this kind of a son of a bitch, Liam. Doesn't feel good being on the other side now. <laughs> no one likes being Xenolifer's enemy, but you two made your choices. Enjoy defending oppression and slavery. We have to go now. We can't take any risks of letting you follow us or alerting the Stellar Federation. So, farewell, Abraham. Just blew up our ship! You know I'm not an assassin. It's just if you get off this planet, I'm sure you'd further complicate my plans! I'm sure you'll find a way to survive. You may even end up liking your retirement here if you give it a chance. Oh my god. Okay! Keep everybody alive! Hey, we got that achievement too! Discover the cure in less than 20 hours. Sweet. Inject a lethal shot to someone without killing him. Bravo. Alright. You didn't sacrifice no one! Uh. How could 64% of you assholes sacrifice Marvin? What's your problem? That's terrible. Ah. Oh. Jeez. 64% of people kill Marvin. That's ridiculous. Donald got more shots than the rest. Yes, indeed he did. Donald took the majority. That was risky. All right. There we go. That's going to do it for guys. We'll be watching this time around, guys. I'm going to take a quick ad break. We've been going for a solid two hours or so. I'm going to see if Rob's still around, and then we'll be able to do some Mountain Friends. But if he's uh, if he's gone, which I wouldn't blame him for because it's like an hour beyond when I told him we were doing this, uh, we'll do some Necrothon. But more of uh, more of the Bear Taffy Live show anyway, coming up after this quick ad break. See you soon.